Hello people, in this video let us look at anti-rheumatoid drugs. This is pharmacology. In um, I think you already know about rheumatoid arthritis. It's an inflammatory joint disease. Right? The joints are affected because these people have some autoimmune condition. And because of any trigger like a microbial infection, they can develop uh, this autoimmune can start firing. You know, the, the body's immune starts firing and it starts attacking itself. So basically the idiopathogenesis you have seen where um, uh, you have these people have some HLA-DR, HLA-DR1, basically they have some uh, human leukocyte antigens on their cells, right? So they have some immunologic derangements, then because of some trigger like some infection, etc. What will happen? Their lymphocytes, these CD4 uh, T cells, okay, they start making a lot of cytokines like tumor necrosis factor, alpha, uh, inter- INF, uh, INF gamma that is interferon right interferon gamma then interleukin so it makes a lot of cytokines right and these will uh, uh, activate these uh, B cells right so T cells then activation of B cells then lot of immunoglobulins are produced these are antibodies which attack antibodies look at this these are I anti IgG antibodies okay so this is rheumatoid factor though this is not very uh, specific of rheumatoid arthritis you should understand that anti IgG antibodies are getting formed and uh, again lot of uh, uh, cytokines and then these are immune complexes are getting formed panis formation that is granulation tissue kind of a thing and all these are dam damaging your synovium synovium is your uh, synovial mem uh, membrane of this uh, joint right synovial joints then your small vessels, so vasculitis, then collagen is getting destroyed, right? So these people will develop a uh, lot of uh, joint pathologies, joint deformities. It is not just joints that are affected. It is a systemic condition. It affects a multi systems, uh, multi organs it is affecting. Okay. So this is about uh, rheumatoid arthritis. So in these people, you will be able to find this ACPA, anti-citrullinated peptide antibody. Very, very important to write this in the exam. This much if you write you will get a lot of marks okay anti citrullinated the peptide antibody they will have this is the bad thing actually right and then you can find rheumatoid factor like we told you but this is not specific right it can be uh, increased even in hepatitis cirrhosis sarcoidosis leprosy so it's not very specific the ra factor okay so uh, basically a lot of joints will be affected symmetrically the joints will be affected so you can see here left and right both are affected joint swelling or joint tenderness and they'll have spits, early morning stiffness polyarthritis that is many are, uh, joints involved they'll have uh, relapse remissions in the joints you can see a lot of deformities in the legs you can see some deformities in the joints uh, you can see some bursitis spinal cord compression so basically there is synovitis panis formation right necrosis fibrin deposit so basically there's destruction of the joint weakening and even rupture of tendons can happen then uh, there can be vasculitis extra articular manifestations of the rheumatoid disease can be there like um, these people can have uh, systemically muscle wasting they can have uh, bursitis osteoporosis they can have anemia they can have thrombocytosis eosinophilia they can have felty syndrome where liver can be damaged splenomegaly they can have um, in felty syndrome they can have uh, thrombocytopenia etc they can have these kind of nodules right we are just taking an overview guys before we go to the treatment they can have eye manifestations they can have uh, cardiac manifestations the lung manifestations neurological manifestations a myeloidosis they can have okay so now basically in this video we want to look at uh, treatment after taking a recap of complete uh, rheumatoid arthritis let us look at the treatment so basically what is the goal of therapy you want to reduce their pain right you want to reduce these people's pain and you want to reduce the damage and you want to preserve the joint function and prevent deformity so this is the main uh, goal of your pharmacological treatment right so uh, what are the rheumatoid anti-rheumatoid drugs available you have um, uh, NSAIDs like uh, basically uh, painkillers right you can give then you have disease modifying anti-rheumatoid drugs DAMARDs these are called as disease modifying anti-rheumatoid drugs these are um, also slow acting okay so in this you have two types you have non-biological and biological non-biological means you have immunosuppressants like methotrexate folate this is a folate antagonist right purine synthesis will not happen azathioprine also similarly purine synthesis it will not allow cyclosporin immune suppressant then immune modulators you have like sulfur salazine you have hydrochloroquine which is also a malaria drug then you have leflunomide which is going to stop the uh, activated lymphocytes from uh, uh, proliferating okay 
when uh, coming to the biological agents important guys uh, this and all they will give only if it is a severe case which is not responding in that you have infliximab etanercept okay then you have uh, this rituximab etc these are biological remember uh, as a, apart from this you have uh, adjuvant drugs like prednisolone that is steroid okay so uh, these are the drugs guys you have uh, what do you have you have you have what guys you have uh, uh, nsaids just for pain killing uh, stuff then you have disease modifying anti rheumatoid drugs demards which are also slow acting anti rheumatic drugs uh, these are non biological and biological non biological you have these immunosuppressants like methotrexate very very important this is the most important drug you have to write here azathioprine cyclosporin then uh, sulfasalazine which has immunomodulator you have sulfasalazine hydrochloroquine or chloroquine this is a malaria drug very long uh, it's been there from many years leflunomide 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 okay which is um, uh, it will stop the activation of the activated lymphocytes from pro proliferating okay methotrexate is a folate antagonist then you have biological agents like um, infliximab uh, etanercept and uh, rituximab and then prednisolone is a adjuvant drug so look at this guys uh, we'll just tell you a little about each methotrexate folate antagonist so uh, basically uh, inhibit uh, the sorry some synthesis it will inhibit right it will inhibit the synthesis of purine yeah no de novo purine synthesis right so this is what it will stop so it is immunosuppressant it is also a can anti cancer drug okay so you will use it for treatment of any uh, or immu autoimmune condition cancer etc then uh, this one is the first choice for um, uh, rheumatoid arthritis okay then this uh, methotrexate actually kills the cells in s phase about methotrexate we have separate video <coughs> then methotrexate can go into toxicity for which you will have to give um, uh, folinic acid as the antidote azathioprine like we told you same thing it is also suppressing immunity it was uh, it is converted into 6 mercaptopurine and again purine uh, metabolism is affected okay so so you have looked at methotrexate uh, in detail right methotrexate is the most important most important one you should know now you look at the um, algorithm for the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis so if you have diagnosed see you will give nsaids for anybody right that you will do but if it is diagnosed as rheumatoid arthritis you will give methotrexate plus prednisolone right this is what you said no adjuvant drug so prednisolone so methotrexate plus prednisolone you have to give okay so which is the drug of choice methotrexate methotrexate and prednisolone they are giving methotrexate they go on increasing the dose prednisolone they go on decreasing the dose okay now after some time they will check how is the disease activity score if it is less then they will just continue this methotrexate they have increased the dose you see here prednisolone is just getting tapered out <clears throat> so they'll continue with methotrexate if the disease activity score is more only that means it is still not fine then what they will do they will add this sulfasalazine and hydrochloroquine sulfasalazine and hydrochloroquine were what immuno modulators right and then again they will check the uh Uh, the activity score okay if the activity score is getting less then they'll continue this triple therapy of methotrexate sulfasalazine and hydrochlorine hydrochloroquine but then if the um, uh, disease score is more uh, if it is increased then you will add a biologic agent like biologic agents what and all you saw uh, that uh, infliximab uh, then rituximab and then etanercept right etanercept what was that infliximab rituximab etanercept these are the biological agents they will add if sulfasalazine hydrochloroquine etc doesn't help okay and uh, in case the uh, activity score is somewhere in between then they will just change the demard demard if you have to change methotrexate another demard what will you do you can take what and all cyclosporin azathioprine all those are there and you can uh, again add back this prednisolone low dose prednisolone okay so this is how they are treating uh, rheumatoid arthritis guys so in this video you have looked at all the anti rheumatoid drugs okay so one more thing we will cover here one more thing is there to cover yeah see based on the uh, pathogenesis where exactly these drugs are working that also we we'll look off okay so this is the pathogenesis pathophysiology pathogenesis so basically you are giving methotrexate right methotrexate is a immune Uh, suppress so you are suppressing these all these uh, b cell t cell and all that you want to separate suppress okay so immune suppressor we have added here in the pathogenesis then this uh, uh, what else you are giving uh, this infliximab etanercept what did they say it is tnf alpha inhibitors if you go back to the classification you can see here tnf alpha inhibitors etanercept and infliximab are tnf alpha inhibitors okay 
then let's come back here then leflunomide will stop this activated t cells okay leflunomide is stopping the activated t cells so this is leflu leflunomide leflunomide was what till in the this one leflunomide was an immune modulator okay so all immune modulator you can add there then so these we just in the pathogenesis we have shown you where the drugs sit okay so basically these people will have some genetic predisposition along with that some environmental trigger will come in and then this immune will overact when the immune overacts this t cell b cell b cell is making lot of antibodies which will affect the vessels blood vessels and this t cell is making this tumor necrosis factor alpha interleukin interferon uh, gamma and all these are attacking uh, your uh, bone right it is coming and creating some um, uh, osteoclastic activity there's bone erosion there's cartilage breakdown etc that is why joints are affected more so you are giving nsaids to reduce the pain here prostaglandins see prostaglandins are causing pain so you will give nsaids to stop this prostaglandin okay so if if you for the pain you are giving nsaids but if you know that it is because of this rheumatoid factor or because of this uh, anti citrullinated peptide uh, antibody because of all that then you can uh, give the treatment for rheumatoid arthritis which is nothing but what guys come on say it demard in that you have immune suppressant immune modulator these are uh, bi non biologic agents these are tried first non biologic agents are tried first with prednisolone and then if the disease still continues you can try biologic agents okay so biologic agents are the simpleximab etanercept uh, that is tnf alpha inhibitors they are okay so hope you have understood uh, rheumatoid uh, drugs guys very important for your pharmacology for pathology for your medicine also you need this okay that's it guys bye bye